Hello grade 8, this is Mr. G and we are going to make a small video about the periodic table, okay? In this video, we are going to speak about groups and periods. There will be another video later on that will speak about atomic number and atomic mass, but in this one only groups and periods. So, here we have the periodic table and like all the periodic tables, you have horizontal rows in, uh, these are the horizontal rows there, one, to the we have horizontal row and we also have vertical column which will be for example these are the vertical one now in the periodic table we have a specific number for those columns and those periods okay so the columns the vertical ones are going to be called groups they are going to be called groups and those groups you have to start here from left is group one this is group two you can see the numbers on top all this is group three group four group five and so on up until you go to group 18 which is the last one okay note this table here at the bottom we are not going to use it so you can ignore that part of the periodic table for now we are going to use the other part of the periodic table, okay? So, those elements are in that specific group. The groups are all there on top. You can see the numbers. Here, on top, you can see the numbers of the groups. So, if the question asks, in what group is oxygen? Here is oxygen. What group is oxygen? There is the group. Oxygen is in group 16. For example, the what group is calcium? Here is calcium. Calcium is in group 2. Alright? So, this is related to groups. However, the periodic table is also organized in periods. Now, the periods are going to be the horizontal rows. For example, this one here, this one here is one period in the periodic table this is another period and now we're going to top this one all this one from side to side is another period so you can see in the periodic table starting from top we have one which is the same as here we have period two which is the same as here we have period three four five six and seven three four five six and seven is the last one there that you can see all right so the periods are going horizontally from left to right okay so those are the periods if we are going using the same example we did before with calcium and oxygen in what period is calcium so you come in here to this side you count from top and this is in period four if you go to oxygen you come here to the left, sorry, to the right, and that will be period 2. So, oxygen is allocated in group 17, period 2. Calcium is allocated in period 2, group 4. So, uh, pardon, uh, period 4, group 2, the other way around. Okay, so this is important. The Roman number, you can skip them um, uh, for now. So, let's see one example. Let's say you are allocated then. Um, symbol nickel or the element nickel and the element carbon okay and we want to know what group and in what period are those elements uh, allocated all right so for nickel the first thing we have to identify is where is nickel in the periodic table all right you go to the periodic table you look nickel is allocated here so, in what group is nickel? All the way up here, that one is, so, we see that nickel is in um, a group a, a 10, and the other question was about carbon. So, here is group 10. Carbon, you go to carbon, is there. Carbon is in group 14. So, carbon is in group 14. Now, period. In what period? is nickel so you can either go to the right or to the left it will give you the same period 
you can see nickel is in period number four and carbon if you go to carbon you can go either to right or left but to the right is closer so you can see if in group number uh, in period number two sorry period number two so this is the video i hope it helped to understand periods and group of from the periodic table in the upcoming exams you will have questions in which they ask you in what group of the periodic table is certain element or in what period okay so thank you very much for watching good luck i'll see you next time